Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. And of course, the weather is getting uh, a lot warmer, I guess. You know, it's nice out here today, and it's a great time to come and visit the animals. And, you know, even with this with this snow that we have out here, it's a beautiful time to, to come and check some of the animals. And one of the ones that you want to get a chance to check out would be the red wolves. And it's a, interesting here. We're just finishing up with the breeding season, and we're hoping that we're having a successful breeding season here because with the red wolves, you know, they're part of a endangered species program. This is a program we're really excited about. We're hoping that, you know, we'll have uh, our, for, our first uh, pups here this year. Now we brought in a uh, male, she's a little female. We brought her in from uh, Western North Carolina from a nature center over there. And she joined our male who's seven years old. He was from the Great Plains Zoo. Now you think about it, there's only 194 uh, red wolves in 44 different institutions in the country and they really started you know back in the in the early 70s with only there was only 14 uh, that were found left in the wild they were actually extinct in the wild and it started a captive breeding program and we're part of that program and then last year in anticipation of breeding season part of that plan it's a species survival plan is the zoos took a look at uh, having X amount of transfer. So what they're looking at is 33 breeding pairs. And of that, there was over a dozen animals that needed to be moved. Now we moved her in here in October and she's done really well so that they can get to know each other and hopefully she's a younger animal that will have uh, some success uh, with uh, the breeding. Uh, but one of the things that happened, you know, we had all that ice, especially early in the year, and she slipped on the ice in her exhibit and she actually broke her pelvis Ooh. in two different places. Now she's recovered well from that. Uh, one of the other things that we had to do is do an ultrasound on her to check and make sure everything's uh, looking good uh, for the breeding season. So she recovered well, she's doing well, and we're hoping this year in this spring that maybe we'll have some little pups. That'd be great. Can you hear us okay, Neil? Uh, cut in and out. Pete has a question for you. Hey, I thought I smelled. Sure. A, I thought I smelled a skunk on the weather deck. Was I uh, mistaken? Would skunks be at it this in this frigid temperatures? No, you know it's it's entirely possible. You know some may venture out, especially with a little bit of warmer period. See? But uh, I know we've seen you know a few opossums that. So you know the animals are starting to stir. Yeah. We're starting to see some signs of spring out here as well. There you go. Well, good. I smelled it this morning. I'm smelling spring. Well, I'm glad you, you weren't go. sprayed yeah, bringing really. it inside. Neil, thanks a lot. We'll check back with you the next hour.